Hey, and welcome. Uh, this is Andreas from North. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the more advanced search features of Google. Um, sometimes you want to go a little bit above and beyond, uh, and the regular Google search doesn't give you what you want. So I'm going to show you some of the more advanced uh, strategies. Now, remember, not even uh, the top Google search analysts use uh, these features more than 5 or 10% of their time. So some of them are really advanced, and some you may never use. But we're going to take a look at some of them. So here we go. The first one is the phrase search. By uh, putting double quotes around a set of words, you're telling Google to consider the exact words that, in that exact order without any change. So if I'm looking at uh, double quotes and then American history um, project, for example, and then I put a double quote, I'm going to get the exact uh, phrase that that search is for. Next up is um, search within a specific website. This one's really great. Uh, Google allows you to specify your search results uh, within a given website. So for example, if I'm searching for uh, technology, but I want to make sure that I find only technology articles from within uh, maybe uh, New York Times, I can say site and then nytimes.com then I'm going to hit enter, and I'm only going to get technology stuff from within New York Times. Uh, and you can see that all of these results are from NewYorkTimes.com. Similarly, if I want to go uh, and find technology, uh, but from a site that ends in a .org, I can do that as well, and I get only results that are from a .org website uh, or a .gov. And this is great for when you're searching for things that are very specific, specifically uh, with uh, students if they want to find something very, very specific. Another great search operator is the fill in the blanks which is the asterisk and that functions as a wild card for Google and so for example if you wanted to find out uh, what Clinton voted on voted on uh, voted yes or no but you don't want yes or no so you put in an asterisk on the whatever bill then you can put that in as a wild card and it'll show you then different votes and so Clinton voted president on the bankruptcy bill he voted uh, for or against closure, the final closure on the final bill, uh, no or on the FISA bill, and so it acts as a wild card. It's a great way of uh, finding stuff without having to actually search for it. Another great search operator is the OR operator, and you have to use that one in all caps. Uh, so you can't just type in OR, but you have to be in all capitals. And so, for example, if you're typing in Cleveland Browns and you want to find some information, you can say, well, I want 2004 or 2003 or 2004. And then what you'll get is our results 2003 or 2004. They'll show you both, uh, but not both on the same page. Uh, if you remove that, is it assumes that you have an and in there. Uh, and that's another search feature, but then you're going to get uh, pages that have both 2003 and 2004. But if you want the or, it gives you a pretty good idea of, of searching um, for different data uh, based on the same category. All right, well, what if you are searching and there's some stuff that you don't want to include? So say you're searching for good food, but you don't want to include, uh, let's say, ham. And then what you're going to get is you're going to get search results that include good food, but not ham. And so the minus sign, or for example, if you don't like chicken, uh, you're going to get good food uh, from the internet, but it does not include the search term chicken.